mistakes can be very, very expensive. Every time someone makes a mistake, many times they get affected by what that particular mistake has cost them. Imagine someone has to re or repeat a particular mistake several times. The first time you're passing through a particular place and you hit your foot on a stone and um, what happens is that when next you are passing that particular place you become mindful of that particular spot where you dashed your foot against the stone but should you forget and you dash your foot against the stone again you will make you you agree with me that the pain gets to you more than the first time why because this was the same place where you hurt yourself the first time and you are not hurting yourself another time on that particular spot it makes you feel very very bad i'm julius afalabi a premium business coach and the founder of value improvement academy in business and in career mistakes are inevitable but the repetition of mistake is what we must intentionally and consciously guard against. The moment you repeat a mistake, often it becomes an error, right? It becomes what? An error, an active error for that matter. In a particular system, there's what we call um, the degree of freedom, right? That is, we have um, acceptable or normal variance, kind of. A little window the margin of safety a little allowance for positive or negative differences within a particular expectation of a result and now when you find out that um, a particular in the system there is uh, a default error that repeats itself it means that the process has a problem and needs to be addressed likewise in business or in investment most of the time people invest in wrong things and they lose their money but what happens when they repeat the same mistake by repeating the same kind of investment and losing more money than they lost in the beginning something has happened a wise man once said that until you change mentally you cannot physically live where you are the subject of focus is how not to repeat your mistake. How to protect yourself from repeating your mistake. The first thing to do, step number one, is to put a plaque on the wall. We're used to putting the plaque of honor on the wall to encourage us and to motivate us. But this time around, this is a paradigm shift. Put a plaque of your mistake on the wall is called the plaque of scar right the plaque of scar the plaque of scar it reminds you it synthesizes you on the caution that you must take in order not to repeat that particular mistake step number two take responsibility be conscious enough to be aware that this particular thing is repeating itself now i'm more careful about the books on my shelf than they used to why because some years ago I had the opportunity of closing a seven-figure deal but I lost the deal because of my omission in the memorandum of understanding right the terms and condition were not in my favor and I was not aware some weeks later I discovered a book on negotiation on my shelf which I had but never never what opened and when I started going through the book I discovered that if I had the knowledge that I now have I wouldn't have lost that deal I would have fared better it's one thing that um, that is the method or the approach that Brian Tracy calls the zero based thinking knowing what I now know what would I decide if I am faced with the same reality step number three is to identify the root of your mistake and treat it there's something called root cause analysis. If I consistently spend money on a particular thing that is not bringing me income, 
right? I'm not getting return. I am consistently losing money to that particular activity. I need to find out what is wrong. Is it the activity that is wrong or my approach to putting in the money? Sometimes it is not the problem, but the method with which we approach the problem. Sometimes a different problem requires a different approach. And sometimes we wrongly implement the approach. The approach is not wrong, but our implementation is wrong. Right? And then step number four, which is the final step in ensuring that you do not repeat your mistake, is to separate yourself from areas that influence the repetition of that mistake. Right? Right? Have a known where spotting where your error is happening through root cause analysis. Stay away from the influencers of your mistake. Right? If you have um, a bank of friends that um, make you spend unnecessarily at weekends, what you do is that you stay at home at weekends so that you don't have to spend and run into financial troubles. Right? Whatever it is that influences your mistake, ensure that you stay out of win your environment of those peculiarities. If you do this, you won't have to repeat your mistake. You won't have to be a fool twice. Right? Yes. So once beating, twice shy. What have you learned from this video? I'd like to hear from you. Thank you and God bless you. And if you're not yet subscribed to this particular channel, why don't you do so now and press the notification bell so that anytime fresh value comes your way, you will be the first person to be notified. Thank you and God bless you.